welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangle Skeins Crafter. Uh, today I have for you a Timu haul, or Temu, whatever you want to call it. Um, this was all stuff I bought with my own money. A couple of the things I got free through playing the games, and I just thought I would do a little unboxing, unbagging, what have you. Um, I have cross stitch, I have diamond painting, I have accessories. I think I'm just not going to show you everything I bought, but I will show you the kits and um, this holder, this book for uh, diamond painting that I got. All right, I'm just going to do one long video. I was going to do several short, but I think I'm just going to do one long video this time. So let me move some of these things out of the way. I'm sorry if there's a lot of background noise. Apparently my heat has kicked on. It's gotten cold here in Texas again. Oops, let me get my Kindle out of the... There we go. Um, let's start with the non-crafting stuff. I bought this Diamond Art Storage Book. Let me know if you have one of these. Um, they come in several sizes. Sorry, I'm trying to get my hair off of it. Apparently I'm going bald and my hair is just everywhere. Anyway, um, I got one of these for the, some of the smaller ones. And it just... Let's see if I can do this without hitting my camera. It's just like a nice, sturdy cover. And then it's just got like, like sheet protectors that you slide, I guess, the diamond paintings into. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, they slide in from the side. I'm assuming you have to cut, like, the outside of the diamond painting off. Let me see when I'm getting ready to start. This one might fit in. This one's a 40 by 30. I will try to put some. I have finished and later they're all put up right now, but it holds like 30, I think. And I thought it might be nice to have something just to put those in because a lot of the smaller ones I'm not planning on framing and putting on my wall or anything, but this way I can keep them and look at them whenever I want to remind myself because I forget what I, I've done. And this just snaps and it folds because that way, you know, it can expand as you put the things in it. Anyway, I thought that was nifty. Um, yeah, I'm old. That's the word I use, nifty. And let's see, I have a note that shows what everything cost me. That one is $13.49 right now on Timu, and I actually got that free through playing a game. Okay, next I will show you another thing I got. This one, I'll show you the booklet. is It's called a Magic Shop, Dream Bottle Series Magic Shop. And it comes with like all these little pieces and you had to put it together. And I was kind of worried about ordering it because it is glass, but they pack it, package it really well. So it looks like it's intact, I got scissors. I haven't opened it yet, but I peeked in through the tape. So I'm excited about this. I've been wanting one of these or one of those little like book nook things that you put together and put on your bookshelf. But I thought this was cute. Yeah, the glass is intact. So I'm happy about that. I do worry about getting breakable stuff from overseas. Um, but I just thought this would go, especially around like my Harry Potter fantasy kind of shelf. And it comes with all these little pieces and the tools you'll need. Tweezers and a little box cutter. And then the instructions and like list of everything that it comes with. And I'm assuming these are stuff you cut out and glue on somewhere. And I'm actually really excited to do this. I'm just kind of worried because I am very fumble-fingered is how I put it. I'm kind of clumsy when it comes to tiny things. 
but I'm really excited to try to do this. Let me know if you want to see like progress photos or maybe little videos of me trying to put this together. I could do maybe a little time lapse. It comes with the battery, so I guess it lights up. All kind of little pieces. And like I said, I'm a little bumble fingered, so this is going to be interesting. And it's like thin wood. It's all labeled, and then you just cut it out or pop it out. I see some beads. Sandpaper to sand down any rough edges. I'm not even sure. I'll have to look through the book. I haven't looked through the book yet. I'm sorry, I don't realize I'm holding it down so far until I look up on my monitor. I guess like doors and... Yeah, I'm just really excited to do this. It just comes with so many small parts. Like I said, let me know if this is something you'd be interested in seeing me either put together or maybe progress pictures posted in like the little community tab or on my social media. Or maybe just a finished product, like little video review. Um, I'm thinking about actually taking this, except for the glass part, to work with me and seeing about putting them together since I do have so much time on my hands at work. I usually just take cross stitch with me and sometimes diamond painting, but I could easily take this and keep it all together and spend part of my 12 hours a day doing that. All right, moving on to crafting stuff. I did get, did I tell you how much that was? The Magic Shop is right now listed as $13.73. And they have multiple, like a variety of, of different styles. This one was called Magic Shop, but it's $13.73. I bought it for $10.03. Because, you know, they're always having like sales and discounts and stuff. Okay, next is a cross stitch kit. So I don't know if you need an, the little sticker or not, but there you go. Um, this is, I think it's listed as an elk. Hopefully I'll have a picture put up for you. Oops, it's already starting to fray, so apparently it's not surged. Um, it is currently listed as $5.28. I paid $4.84 for it. I've actually had my eye on this since well before Christmas. I think it is just so pretty. It is a stamped kit. Comes with the paper of instruction for cross stitch. And then, of course, the paper pattern, front and back. Has 24 colors. Shows the symbol and the DMC code on there. Printed clear, easy to read. I don't think there's any symbols that are going to give me any issues if I have to check out the pattern or the chart, however you want to say it. Okay, it comes with two needles stuck in the fabric. Let's set those to the side because, you know, I don't like to keep it in the canvas. It shows that it is 129 stitches wide by 173 stitches high, which, as you can tell, it is a partial. So it's not exactly, I mean, it's not that all over. Um, this is 24 collars. And it is different than the printed chart. So instead of the symbols, 
in letters and numbers that it had on the printed chart than it has the, these old designs and symbols. It's a little confetti, but not too bad. Probably enough to make it pretty. I just, I really love this deer, or elk, or whatever you want to call it. It's 11 count. This will be a quick stitch, I think, since it's not, I mean, it's about a medium size for me, but it's not full coverage, so it should go pretty quick. Looks like everything's printed clearly. I don't see any... Yeah, everything's in its square, everything's easy to read. I don't see anything I'm going to get mixed up. Like with the blue X's and the blue um, slashes, they're different, I think slightly different blue, and they're different sized stripes, so I'm not going to see it and get those confused, see the X, the X and the stripe. Those are the kind of things sometimes I get confused, but not on this. This is it's too clear and too, too distinct. Yeah, this is going to be easy stitch. And I think a fun stitch. Like I said, a little bit of confetti, but just enough to keep it interesting. Put that back up. My only issue, I guess, is that it's not surged. But I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue. If nothing else, I can do something to the side, masking tape, even though sometimes that leaves a film. Usually I don't do anything and I don't have much trouble. Okay, the floss comes on this kind of floss card. It just has the number of each color. I don't have like the DMC code or symbols or anything. It's not a whole lot of floss since it's not full coverage, so I assume there's going to be plenty of floss for it. Look at the colors. There's some really pretty, like pastel y pink and blues, and then more vibrant ones also. And we got oranges, white for the deer. I'm hoping it's like his neck and ears and stuff. I think it might be enough contrast to be able to stand out against the white Ada. Browns. Just pretty. I think it's just really pretty colors. To me it's kind of spring like. And I think the elk is laying with it has like butterflies and I think blossoms in its antlers. So I think it's a kind of a spring image. When I kept seeing it it made me think winter because I had like reindeer in my head but I think this is more of a spring image, and I really like it. I look forward to stitching on it. That is the only cross stitch kit I got. I think I told you, but again, that was an elk, and it's five dollars twenty-eight cents. I paid four dollars and eighty-four cents for it. Next, I've been looking at these. Um, diamond painting coasters ever since I started diamond painting again a few months ago so I finally just splurged and got me some what's funny is I didn't see that it came with a coaster holder thing so I bought myself a separate one which is fine because I have other coasters I can use it use the other one for This coaster set is listed right now at $9.69. I paid $8.99 for it. Which honestly, for a lot of this, I didn't even pay as much as what I'm telling you because um, anytime they adjust prices, they will give you a refund. And then if stuff arrives late, apparently even the free stuff they send you, they, they'll give you a $5 credit. And this package came today, it was due yesterday, and they had combined packages, so I actually got $10 credit for this. So you can knock a, you know, a few cents here and there off, plus refunds I'd got before. So these didn't even cost me as much as what I'm telling you. But I couldn't, it's hard for me to go in and see all the refunds and see how much I actually paid for everything. It's 
I don't think it's that important. But just know that if you order something and you don't get it on time, you get a $5 credit. Also, if you order something and the price goes lower within, I think, the next 30 days, you'll get a refund of the difference. Anyway, these are just little Christmas coasters. And I just thought they were cute and I've been wanting to do some coasters. They're just little wooden pieces. I do have some um, cork to put on the back of these that I'd got before for some felt coasters I had. It's just like this is little snowmen in a house. I think they're all snowmen, different snowmen. And the, the um, I think the numbers and letters, yeah, on the coasters or what are on the bags. I don't think it has like any kind of little paper legend or anything. I really like this one. I think this one's really cute. And I know it's not really winter anymore, snowman season, but I just think it's cute and there'll be something easy for me, quick and easy to do. I could take them to work or just do them in between big projects here. And then I'll have them for next winter. I love wintry, Christmassy, seasonal, Halloween also things year round. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coasters. Comes with the tool kit, just a regular little tray, square of the wax, and a single placer pin. Then it comes with the, it's more kind of like the rhinestones, I think, more than drills, they're, just, they're the real shiny sparkly ones. I'm trying to see if it says anywhere on here. It does have directions on the back of the box for anybody that hasn't done diamond painting before. So you just find the diamond number, you use the sticky pin with mud, they call it. Use the pin to absorb the diamond. I guess that's one way to say it. And then you just put it on the corresponding numbers. This is environmentally friendly, friendly resin materials. Anyway, let's look at the colors. Every unboxing video I have to figure out how to open packages. It's ridiculous. Oh, that kind of hurt. I got these press-on nails also in this order. I've never been a press-on person. Even though I grew up in that era where everything was big hair, guest jeans, and Lee press-on nails which these are not a brand name, but I thought I'd try them because my nails have been so horrible lately, brittle and breaking off, so I haven't been painting them. I like them, but I keep, I think I have them set back to a little bit too far, and whenever I press on stuff, it pushes into my cuticle, and it's not a pleasant feeling. Too much information, but I just thought I'd let you know. I don't remember how much I paid for them, but less than $2 for the set. They have some really pretty ones, too, with really pretty designs. I'm going to try to get my nails to grow out and start painting them again. I have all kinds of decals and stuff. Alright, let's do it this way so we can actually see the colors. They're the real, the clear, sparkly, like rhinestone ones instead of the solid color drills. I hope you can see this. Didn't help that my webcam keeps adjusting its focus, which is why I bought it, but I've noticed that it does it a lot while I'm diamond painting and stuff. That's I'm trying to figure out if it's like a clear, it looks like a really light, that could be from the background, almost looks like a really light green. I think it might be like a clear or an off-white or maybe even a pale yellow. Let's 
I forgot they don't have lucky numbers or anything. And there's like a really light, what's that, citron? Really light green. I almost said citronella. And there's a more foresty green. Yeah, I can't get the colors to show up well. There's greens and oranges and yellows and pretty, pretty teal blue. More orange. Orangey orange. Mandarin orange. Oh, that's pretty. What is that? Aquamarine. I get confused on the colors. Oh, that's a pretty, like an ice blue. I really like these. These are both the same number, so I guess there's going to be a lot of these. It's probably for like the snow and stuff, or ice, like a, I don't know, but it's really pretty. I don't know why I guess what they're going to go on it before I've started any of them. Cute red. Black. Those look like solid drills. So regular drills. And then the rest are just really light. Orange, yellow, more orange, and there's some clear, I believe. White. These are going to be very pretty and shiny. I really like stuff like I've done just one one kit, which I think I also got through Timu. But um, with the like the rhinestone, or I don't even know what you call these, but the clear, pretty, sparkly ones. I heard someone call them rhinestones, so that is what stuck in my head. So I look forward to seeing how these turn out. Because I really like how that other thing, it was a, one of those table stand ones. And I really liked how it turned out, so I think I'm going to like these. Look at me not be able to figure out how to get them all back in the box. Yeah, this might be a cute thing to take to work. Because I'll have to put the the drills in a container because the last thing I took to work they all fell out into a bag and got stuck together and stuck on the canvas of the thing I was working on and just it was not a good thing all right next this is a four-piece mystery bundle that's no longer available but I paid nine dollars and 34 cents for it so I have no idea what's in here all I knew was the size. They're all four 30 by 40s, which I know a lot of people hate 30 by 40s because they don't give good detail, depending on the image, how detailed the image is. But I like working on them because they don't take too long. If it's an image I really want detail on, I'm going to get a bigger one, but these small ones I just do for fun. All right. I already see this one, so I'm going to look at this one because I love... Wizard of Oz, and this is definitely a Wizard of Oz piece. Again, let me figure out how to open it. Yep, definitely the Wizard of Oz. It might not look too bad. It's not too, the faces are big enough that it might not be too much of a blur. It's just you lose stuff like around the eyes especially and like shadows. It's really hard to get that stuff in 30 by 40s. I've learned. It's a cute image. It's got 21 colors. They did that not numerical order. Looks like all letters. It's got the symbol and the DMC code. Nice and sticky. It's got that sparkly canvas that I've been getting a lot lately, which I find interesting. Everything looks printed clearly. Let's 
the G's and the O's do not look the same. U and the V. Nope, everything is distinct. Distinctive. I'm not going to get confused between any of the symbols. Comes with the normal kit single tray, single placer, and thing of wax. Let's look at the drills. Sorry, I was making sure it was still recording before it stopped for a second. Seven five six. I still don't know what this is. It looks almost like the palest minty green to me. And I've used that in something else before. I feel like it's turning out more white or bluish white on the screen. For me, it's more of a greeny white. I like green, kind of spring green. More muted than spring green, I think. But it's a kind of a peachy color. I don't know what to call this. I always call it like a grayish green. Brown, blue, more brown, under brown, gray, green, black. Yeah, black. Hey, there's not a whole lot of black that makes me happy enough to you know, do a hat and whatever you need black in, but not. I just, I've done so much black and diamond painting and in cross stitching lately. Anyway, there's the first one. Let's move you out of the way. <clears throat> okay. The second one of four of the mystery. Diamond painting. Again, trying to open it up. I don't know why I struggle so much. Me and adhesive. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. This is not what I'm going to rip this package. I don't put them back in this plastic anyway. Alright, another 30 by 40 because like I said, they all should be 30 by 40 but I'll probably keep saying it. This one looks to be like a underwater seashell type image. Not one I normally pick, but I don't hate it. I like it. It's pretty and I like the colors. There's 22 colors. Blues and pinks mostly and some purples. Actually, that, it's probably a beach. I guess I'm not going to be able to tell good until I do it because the thumbnail. Because it kind of looks like a wave, right? Like shells on a beach, and then like the sun shining down, and like maybe a wave. Alright, so 22 colors. It's on that sparkly canvas. Everything's printed clearly, everything's in its square. I say that for diamond painting and for cross stitch, but it's cross stitch I usually have that problem with. Where stuff's out of alignment or off slightly. Looks like 
It's a little bit, not confetti really, but enough variety to keep it interesting. But some nice blocks of color too, to just mindlessly go through. So this one's going to be nice to work on. And I think it's going to be pretty when it's done. Might turn out good for a 30 by 40. We will see. Because while there is detail, there's not. it's not like facial features and stuff. So we will see. Nicely sticky. I love purples. I love purples and pinks. Oh, it's just not showing up good on my monitor, but that is a lovely purple. And this is more of a, like a magenta, and then this is a nice bright pink. Makes me think spring flowers. Easter flowers is what it's making me think of. And blues. Of course, there's going to be a lot of blues. More pink. Almost looks like a black or a 823, so a dark blue. More pretty blue. Greenish. Almost like a white olive. Deeper cut. Really pretty blues. I really love the color. Kind of a purple, some more pink, and then some white. So far, I have not been disappointed in the four mystery ones. Of course, I've only looked at two of them, but I've liked both of them so far. Let me take this one out of the way. I'm trying to go halfway quickly because I already have this one. I'm not going to open this one out because it is the same. I have one and I've unboxed it before. It's Lady and the Tramp. I want to keep this and maybe put it in like a giveaway or something. Um, I'm going to wait until I do mine so I can show what it turns out like because that way people aren't disappointed if they get it and don't like how it turns out. But I really love the image. Like I said, I'll keep this packaged and see about giving it away late, like maybe during the summer. Alright, not disappointing exactly, but I wish I'd got one I, you know, all four had been stuff I didn't have. Okay, this next one... Looks like turtles. It really doesn't want to focus. <laughs> Look at me struggle. There it is. This one's really well adhered. Stop holding my fingernails off. Yes, I just don't think I'm going to be a press on growl because it just sometimes feels loose. Of course, maybe it'd be different if it was glue. These came with the little um, adhesive patches, little double sided tape kind of things. Alright, yes, turtles. Let's see, 22 colors. Mm, looks like it's going to be pretty. Turtles and what is that, like coral? It's nicely sticky. Clearly printed. You know, it's a little bit busy here and there with the background. 
and some of the stuff you know it's not going to really show up so it's going to lose some of this detail I feel like it's not focused on it not blurry anyway so I feel like it's going to lose some of the detail that it's showing so this might not be a great image for a 30 by 40 but we will see comes with the standard one tray one block of wax and single placer pin the table's nice and big clear this is messing with my eyes a little bit this one I might not like working on this much but I will withhold judgment until I actually work on it Got nice bright colors. If anything, the bright colors will make me happy. Got some white, some really nice purple. You know, I love purple. Browns. That weird blue that it's almost a denim blue. Whatever color that is. It's like a pinky red, orangey red, but mostly red. I don't know. Salmon? <laughs> anyway, that's too orange to be salmon. There's some really pretty blue too. I feel like it's coming up pretty good on the monitor. This might be a little lighter to my eyes than on the monitor. Orange. 939 is a really deep navy blue. A really dark navy blue. That color. I'm going to give up when I try to say colors. Nice dark green. Whatever this is. Almost a sky blue. But not as light. I'm bad with colors. More blue. More purple. More blue. Yellow. Green. Look at that bright, bright pink. Oh, it's not as it's not showing up as bright on the monitor. Rays and more bright colors. I think this is going to be fun to work on color wise. Canvas wise, maybe not so much because it is. That's kind of a mess. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, we will see how it turns out. Before I make a judgment on whether I like it or not. Those were the four mystery kits. The turtles, the seashells, the lady and the tramp, and the wizard of Oz. I really wonder how this is going to turn out. I love the wizard of Oz. Rip on watching that and I think I made both my children watch it. As they were growing up, but probably neither of them remember it. Alright, so that was the mystery kits. I'm going to put them in my trash. Um, let me pull out. Oh, here was one. It's not a kit. But they sell just blank um, canvases for diamond painting. And I bought me some because I have all kind of leftover drills and I since I cross stitch I own a large variety huge amount of cross stitch charts that I could probably use as a diamond painting chart and just turn into a diamond painting so that's what I plan on doing eventually 30 by 40 nicely sticky it has the little guide circles so obviously it's for the circle you can buy either round or square also um did i write down how much this one was no but i can go look real quick um the blank diamond painting canvas cost me a dollar 69 right now it's a dollar 61 it says the suggestive suggestive 
I cannot talk. You know, the retail price, <laughs> SRP, anyway, is $7.38, so you save 78%. You can get square or round, and you can get 7.8 or 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters, 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters, 20 by 30 centimeters, or 30 by 40 centimeters, which I got 30 by 40, obviously, but I might go back and grab some of the 20 by 20. So the 20 by 20 is $1.61. The 30 by 40 like I have is $1.79. $1.61 for 20 by 30 and $1.79 for 30 by 30. I paid $1.69 for this. Anyway, just thought I'd show that since I had it with the rest of them. All right, now I got a couple little kits. I mean, they're all kind of small, but but these are the tiny ones. My hair is on everything. Okay, this one is a little panda. I paid ninety-two cents for it. And it's currently two dollars and sixty-nine cents for that listing. But it's one of those listings that has several different ones, and depending on which one you click, it might be different prices. I can figure out the, where the panda is. Oh, it won't let me look at it because it's sold out. The panda is sold out right now. Probably because it was so cheap, less than a dollar. And look. How cute it is oh my goodness this just it makes my heart happy that's why I get these cute little ones look at his little feet and his little toes oh it just kills me it's got 18 colors which is I think awesome for such a small little piece just a little 20 by 20 which I think just the canvas is 20 by 20 I think the image itself is even smaller and I've lost my measuring tape again. Mm. Pardon me while I get into my mess. Ignore all the needles. So the image itself is 14 and a half centimeters. Wait. Yeah, slightly under 14 and a half centimeters. Oh, I, if, if I would put it on the line for zero instead of at the end so it's actually about 15 it's like 14 and a little over three-fourths put it on the zero Amanda so yeah so almost 15 by 15 now y'all see where I put all of my needles that I take out of my kits I have a magnet that I stick them to and then eventually I just I transfer them to either a little pain cushion or a uh, have a little looks like a lipstick tube anyway 18 colors I'm just rambling today clearly pretty sticky printed clearly adorable tell me it's not adorable don't tell me it's not adorable because I don't want to hear that <laughs> comes with the standard kit single placer, single thing of wax, tray. Let's look at the drills. You can tell I just went on like a little spinning splurge. And I'm getting ready to do another one I think because I have like, I don't know, $30 in credit. Plus, get some free items if I order anything. So 
I might be getting me some more cross stitch from here from Timu because I have plenty of well I have plenty of both diamond paint and cross stitch but you can never have too many right so pinks a little bit of a purple there's that really light whatever color you want to call that looks minty to me pinks really deep green maybe deep blue Pretty petal pink. Grays, greens, pinks. More grays, purple, pink, and black. I really need to go through these a little bit faster because it's already going to be a long video. It's already been like 45 minutes. So that was the panda. This other little one. It's a little elephant. 20 by 20. I paid 76 cents for it. It's listed as 82 cents. And there's this cute little image that I thought would be a fun little diamond painting. I like to take these little bitty ones to work. And again, it's adorable and it's very springtime. It's got flowers and it's just colorful. So colorful. It's got 15 colors, which I think is plenty. Very sticky. This is one of those images that, you know, if I was doing cross stitch, I wouldn't do the background. But since it's diamond painting, yeah, just making sure I had some from. Um, AliExpress that pill up on the side, so I've been trying to remember to check my Timu ones. Oh, it's so cute. Clearly printed. I don't think I've had any diamond painting canvases yet that weren't clearly printed. I feel like I had one that was kind of small and was hard to see, but it was still clear. My problem is whenever the background, like the turtles, I don't know if I would call that clearly printed, I guess because the background kind of interferes with the printing, which makes it not so clear. So I guess it depends on your definition of clearly printed. But not smudged, easy to read, printing. I am so rambly. It's only 1.14 in the morning. Usually I'm not this rambly until like seven o'clock in the morning. And of course there's the background color. Whoops, I'm almost out and off camera. Blues, pinks, that yellow green, bright green, orange. It's just, just a rainbow of colors. Makes me happy to look at them. So this one's going to be a little cute one. I still have a little frame I could put it into, but how do you choose which one to frame? Might have to get me some more of the cute little frames. For this size. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the frame, um, if you look back, I have one. I don't know if it's a video or a short of a fox that I framed. That it was a special grill. And then I bought a frame that I put it in. It looks really cute. And I bought the frames from Timu also. Pretty cheap. So those are my two little ones. My panda and my elephant. Let's put these to the side. Ooh, I still got five more diamond painting kits to go through. Hopefully y'all are holding on through all this. Let's do this one. This one I hesitated over a few times. I hesitated over it for a while, not a few times. I looked at it several times. And I liked the image, but I wasn't sure how it would translate to diamond painting into a 30 by 40 diamond painting. I don't know if you need the number. I keep forgetting the show. This is a smoky rose. 
Misty Rose. What even is this? Okay. Now it's stuck to my fingers and won't let go. It's only 20 colors. I didn't expect a lot of colors. It's just, it's a really dark image with a red rose with like smoke rising up around it. My light's really reflecting off that paper. Sticky, but it's not as sticky as some of them. I'll show you the colors. It's a problem with doing a bunch of kits. I forget what I've done and what I haven't. Of course, the background is mostly black. And some 939s with dark navy blue. This one is listed at a dollar fifty-three or dollar fifty-four right now. I paid a dollar fifty-three. That's with the, the kit that I keep showing you, so I'm not gonna say it all again. Let's look at the drills. So far I haven't seen any real wonky drills in any of these kits. Though half time I'll be working on something and all of a sudden I realize like one collar is just full of like blobs and half drills and twin drills, you know, where it's like two set together and so just looking through the drills, like the packages, it's hard to tell what's gonna be really good quality drills and what's not. But so far they've all looked decent. Like uniformly sized and shaped. I just kitted up one. I think that I got either from here or from AliExpress that had a bunch that were like stuck in the, the seals. So I haven't seen that happen either. Let's look at these collars. <clears throat> 19 and 20. some bright colors but it's mostly just dark dark colors just pops the color in the rose and in the leaves I just really enjoyed the image hopefully I've been putting images up if I can find them so you can see it more clearly, but some of them, especially if they're sold out, not available anymore, it's hard for me to find an image. Lots of black. I like this dark pink, dark pinkish red. I don't know. And this, I like this color. I guess the grays are for the, the smoke that's rising. Browns, maybe for the skin. Why aren't the grays or for the leaves also? Because I'm not really seeing I'm not seeing any green. Let's see. P. G. N. So, yeah. The browns are for the leaves and some gray. Tell me what you think. You think it's going to turn out pretty or just dark and kind of meh? I'm hoping it turns out pretty. Next is just a cute little colorful kind of Valentine's Day which I'm not going to be doing it for this Valentine's Day maybe for next we'll see it's just a cute little kit that I saw and I, I have this weird love-hate thing with gnomes I love them 
I have some decorations I've done. I have a latch hook kit for Christmas. I just, But at the same time, they're not even that cute. But they're adorable. I don't get it. I don't know what my fixation is with them. But it's like a weird love-hate thing. I'm like, oh, they're everywhere. We're like just... Everybody fell too much into love with these gnomes that they're there for every single holiday. But at the same time, I find myself saying, ooh, let's get this cute little gnome. It's nice and sticky. It's a pretty simple image, so it doesn't need a lot of colors. And it's got 20, and I think that is plenty of colors. I feel like this is one of those that's pretty good for a 30 by 40 because it is such like a simple image. But we will see. Depends on if you want like a good outline or not. If you want a good outline and that kind of detail, it's probably better to get a bigger one and just have like that whole line, just that collar. Does that make sense? I think it's going to turn out really cute. Hello, love. What do you think? Do you think it's going to turn out cute? I've just been in the mood for really cute stuff lately. I think because some of the stuff I've been working on is just so dark and pretty but not cute. So I've been going for some cute stuff. The kit. Let's look at the drills. Definitely been gravitating towards some brighter colors. recently. But I think my heart is going to always like the dark things more. I just need a, I just need pops of color here and there. And this will definitely be a cute little pop of color. I didn't even look, but the background is mostly one color. But then it's got like shading. Looks like. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this. Show you the colors. I didn't even show you the where the printing is. Maybe I should have broke this up into parts. I'm starting to rush it. Oh, these are so pretty. I mean, it's just a bunch of pinks and. Green. <laughs> that one's got a lot of pink mixed in it. See, this is what I was talking about with the other one that I hadn't come across yet. It's a bunch in the seal. I kind of want to see how the machines work that package these. Why some get caught and others don't. That one's got a lot of this one in it. Hopefully that's not a problem. Hopefully there'll still be plenty of drills. One, two, two. So there's a lot of number two, which is 321. So there's quite a bit of this red. So yeah, I think it's going to be cute, and I think it's going to turn out pretty good. It, it is printed really nicely. Easy to read. Not a big Valentine's Day girly, even though I mean my husband's birthday is Valentine's Day, so I do enjoy the day. Some of my cash. But I'm not a big. I don't receive flowers. Flowers die, and it makes me kind of sad. If anything, I like fake flowers. And I'm not really supposed to have candy, but. I don't mind receiving candy, but I don't really receive stuff like that, and I never did, and it's just never been a big need of mine. So Valentine's Day is just, it's for singles and couples that are dating, I feel like. I keep telling myself that, and then I still expect a gift from my husband. I'm silly. I'm a hypocrite. But I do like some of the imagery. Is where I was going with that. I love love. This one. 
20 or 30 by 30. Okay. Oh, did I even show the number? There we go. I was too busy looking at it. This one is a very colorful kitty. Like I said, this has been going towards bright pops of color. It's got a dark background, but it's still a very bright cat. Very fuzzy cat. This one um, is listed currently at $1.29. I paid $1.30 for it. 30 by 30. It has 25 colors. I'm seeing 310, I'm seeing 823, I'm seeing 939. Those are the dark ones I work with a lot. The background's not all one color, so that's nice. And it's clearly printed. I don't see any symbols, numbers, letters, whatever that's going to look the same and get mixed, that I'm going to get mixed up. The C and the O is two different colors. The G doesn't look like the O or the C. It's sticky. It's not too sticky. But sticky enough. Isn't it cute? Or pretty? I don't even know. Makes me think of betta fish. Like the flowy look to it. This comes with some little Ziploc baggies along with the basic kit and a multi-placer on the end. So that's nice. It's a little bit more advanced basic kit. It's like advanced beginner. Let's look at the drills. They're so colorful. Makes me smile. I'm reading the instructions because it says drill pins add glue, adds glue. Find the corresponding number, pour out one color drills into the tray, pick up diamond, stick drills on the right position, and complete reinforcement. I'm like, what's the complete reinforcement? Push down? I just find instructions sometimes on these funny. Some of them are very Google Translate. Google Translate is not always your friend. I'm taking Spanish right now again and sometimes I'll look up, I'll type in my Spanish sentence and let it translate it to English to see if it halfway makes sense and that's the only time I really use Google Translate except for when I'm trying to find and figure out what some things say on some of the stuff I get from like Timu or the other overseas ship, shippers, sellers. But yeah, Google Translate is not it's not your friend, usually. Cats come to check out everything. Please don't step on my stuff. Okay, we got brown and then bright purple. It's kind of apricot yellow. That's a pretty yellow. It's more vibrant, bright yellow than it is showing on my monitor. That pretty, pretty teal collar. So I'm not sure if I'm saying teal or aquamarine or which is which. Which is which. It's gray. Another blue. Pinks. Orange. Greens. Pinks. Dark. 12. 9 thought so. Brown. 823. Really light beige, tan, orange, red, more beigey, pink, grays, and black. I hope you can see all those. I feel like no matter how I hold them, the light is reflecting weird or the colors are not showing up well. I think she's going to be pretty. Look at those eyes. I wish, sometimes I wish I'd have some of these images bigger so the eyes would show up even better. But I get these smaller ones just for because I want smaller ones. And I try to pick images I think will look okay in smaller sizes. 
And I think it's going to be pretty. Look at those eyes. Okay. Next to last one. This is my last 30 by 40. This one... Starry Sky Cat. It's currently listed at $1.93. I paid $1.70. I say Starry Sky Cat, but it actually had a longer name. It's Starry Sky Flower Sea. Why is it not letting me click on it? Let me try again. Sorry. There we go. Um, 5D do it yourself or DIY Starry Sky Flower Sea and Cat Diamond Painting Kit. So it's Starry Sky Flower Sea and Cat. 30 by 40. Currently listed $1.93. I paid $1.70. I'll just run to this one. It's just a lot of pretty blues. I mean yellows, but just a lot of blues. Yellows. Oh, it's really folded. Oh, and it has a plasticky smell to it. There's the kit, just a basic kit. It smells like a, a kid's swimming pool, like those blow up swimming pools a lot of kids had when they were little. Just a smell that you won't forget. Kind of like a shower curtain when you first open it, or a shower curtain liner. Nicely sticky, 22 colors. Like I said, lots of blues. I don't know why I was drawn to blues, but I saw this picture and I was like, yep, I want it. Looks like a cat sitting in a field of flowers looking off into the distance. Moon glow? I have no idea. Maybe I'll be able to tell better. In case I didn't put a picture up. Isn't he pretty? I was really drawn to this image. And it's a little busy, but not too bad. It's clearly printed. I don't think any of the letters are going to be hard to make out from each other. I always look at like the C's. G's, O's, D's, stuff like that, because sometimes those are the ones I have trouble with, but it, they're different colors, so I think they're going to be easy to distinguish from each other. Let's look at the drills. Pretty watercolors. I'm glad but they didn't come out, but I'm glad a lot of these have the, like the, the canvas number on it, product number, that way, because you know, so I, I just opened them all, took them all out of their package and been sitting them down, that way I won't get them confused, which a lot of them have such distinctive colors I wouldn't anyway, but anyway, 30 by 40, 22 colors, lots of blues. But very pretty. Yellow. Seems like a deep olive green. Really pale. Apricot. <laughs> Bad with colors. It's a lot of pretty blues. And some greens and some yellows.
this is one even if the image doesn't turn out great I'm just I'm going to enjoy working on because of the colors I hope the image turns out cute and if I, I work on it and I love it but it doesn't turn out as good as I would hope maybe I can look and see if I can find this image bigger somewhere because I really do like it I don't know what you think. Do you think 30 by 40 is going to be horrible for this image? Or do you think it's going to turn out cute? Or do you think it doesn't even matter what it turns out as long as I enjoy working on it? Alright, this one. It's 50 by 100. It's one of the bigger ones I have. Period. I mean, the 100 length. I have a 60 by 6 or 65 by 65. I can't remember what size that I'm working on. And this one's longer, obviously. This one I got free through playing a game. But it looks like it is listed at $17.48. So I got this either through that farmland or that fishland game. It took me five months almost to win those games and I won them one after the other. Now I'm playing the other ones. Hopefully it doesn't take me another five months. But I love free stuff, so it's almost worth me going in and clicking and clicking other people's and having other people click my links over and over and over every single day. But this, hopefully I put an image up for you, but this one is a nice winter deer. Almost like a rain. Is it like a reindeer or just deer deer? Mule deer. I don't know, but deer with a frame of like evergreens or something around them in the snow. I don't know why I'm showing you just the little thumbnail. Hopefully I put an image up. I'll show you the canvas. Yeah, it looks kind of like a deer. I say mule deer, but I don't know if I have the right one. I can't remember all the different kinds of deer. I think the reason I was saying maybe reindeer was because I thought it was like a mom or a baby, but it's just two deer. But they both have antlers. And most of the deer I know don't both have antlers, the male and the female. Just the male do. And then one of these is spotted, which makes me think fawns. But fawns lose their spots before they grow antlers, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is going to be interesting to show y'all because it's really long. It's a lovely image. This one's going to take me a while to work on. Especially since I usually work on multiples. And I don't know, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Well, I guess if I roll it though on something. Because my space, this is where I do all my diamond painting and it's kind of limited. And it's going to be really hard to work on this one. colors. Let's check the stickiness real quick. Oh yeah, that's really sticky. As you can tell, it got a little creased in the shipping. The end got bent in. I thought it was folded in, in two pieces at first and I was really upset, but when I pulled it out, it was just the very end was bent in. It's got that sparkly canvas. focus and then the colors to the colors then the printing looks really clear it looks like it uses a mix of letters symbols I don't see any numbers so just letters and symbols It's clearly printed. 
and it looks like there's enough variety and enough colors that there's going to be detail which makes me happy like even the eye has more than one color in it in the nose so here's hoping that some of this pretty detail comes out because it looks like it will not sure when I'll start this I want to finish a couple first and maybe work on some of the smaller ones but I definitely will be doing this by next fall or winter so later this year let's look at the drills white, off white, but white, two shades of tan, brown, these and greens, and a piccati. There's that color again, <laughs> or at least the shade of it, that minty color. These are really nice colors. There's a nice deep, what is that, almost like a hunter green. It's coming out really dark on the monitor. Number 16. Yeah, there's like four, four packs of those. That's what's around. I'm not going to unroll the canvas again, but I wonder if that's what a lot of what's around the edge. All right, colors. Give me some little pops of color. More browns. More greens. Gray. Here's a pretty color. A little bit darker than my nails. that was all of my crafty stuff I got. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the things I got. Let me know if there's any of them you want to see on my channel, like me doing them or completed. Let me know. I think I asked you earlier if you want to see me either working on or um, like time lapse of or something to do with the little magic shop. Uh, is there any of these projects you've done, any of these kits, or have ordered or plan to do or might order because, you know, I'll have all the links to anything that's still available in my description box. Let me know. What are you excited about? What did you, what was your favorite? I'm not even sure what my favorite was. I guess the big one because I've had that working towards getting that for months because it is so pretty. Um... I still have some more things coming. Can't remember if I have any more diamond paintings or not. I will definitely let y'all know if so. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for making it through this like almost an hour and a half long video. And um, like I said, comment below. Let me know what your favorite was. If you think some of these will turn out well. If you think they're not even worth the price, even though some were really cheap. I don't know if you can hear my cat meowing, but one of my cats really wants attention. So that's my cue. I will talk to y'all next time. Bye-bye. Oh.